Oh, wow, look at that. My living room floor is oil shale. All right, well, if we get low on gas, we can just come and mine our living room. Because that's what you do, you know, when you get low on gas.
Welcome back, everybody, to Rebirth. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to go get ourselves a home. So, um, I believe, I haven't actually done this yet, but I believe I will uh, show you guys um, a montage at the beginning of this video, just kind of showing some of the off-camera stuff I've done. Um, by the way, let's do this now, Faded Secrets. That's a new uh, song there. Let's see... So, Faded Secrets, where is that? Right here. So, it looks like we're still not all the way there in any one particular class, but uh, we are working on it. And, uh, alright, so I don't think there's anything here I want to sell. Uh, Pen cushion has got a bunch of stuff in his inventory. So, I am just completely loaded down because I've spent um, all night, last night, just wrenching cars for gas and so I've got a shit ton of stuff to sell. I mean, just a gob of stuff here. Um, so let's do that first. Okay, so I think we have, <coughs> excuse me, sold everything from all the salvaging I've done. Uh, I also made it to level two ratchet as a part of that process. Um, yeah, level two ratchet there. Uh, so let's see here. We have um, 4,500 bucks. So that's enough to buy another book. So either healing factor or iron gut. We can't get, uh, and I did buy a deep cuts book. I think I'll show that in the, in the montage in case I don't. Yes, I did buy a deep cuts book because I've actually gone uh, out on two salvaging sessions in total. It's uh that fucking motorcycle, man. <laughs> it takes a lot of gas. I mean, in, by way of comparison, I'm seriously considering going and fixing up the moped or not the moped, but the, uh, you know, the little mini bike for now, just for that reason alone. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, we could, we could do healing factor or iron gut. So healing factor one, um, gives us that stuff there. Plus we have the quick heal option and negative things like infections, radiation that spread slower. So there's that. Um, or we could do iron gut bus from consumables lasts longer and food and water loss from exertion is reduced chance of dysentery reduced, etc. Um, or we could buy... Let's see, where's, oh, okay, we can buy another cardio book and get this up to three, and then we could, I think we have enough to buy maybe two books, and then we could also do a parkour, or we could do a 69er, or a mother load, or a pack mule. Um, all right, so, 45, 20, no, I don't have enough to buy two books. Uh, okay, still, I think I would like, I think we're going to buy this cardio, this third cardio book. And then you will, you know, we'll just sit on this money and build it back up and continue, you know, buying other books as time goes on. But now, uh, stamina regens by 15% when sprinting in, we can walk seven and a half percent faster. So yeah, that's good, man. Now we can move, move along pretty good. Okay. So I also believe what I will have showed you in the montage that I made the crucible. And so now we can make our own steel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, um, I can make the level five titanium since I can now make steel. I might as well. And also I made a steel pickaxe. I don't think I got to level two on that yet. No. So we're still on level one. So what we're going to do is here, I got to turn that music down a little bit more. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a, an orange ratchet and a blue titanium scythe. Where are we at with axes? All right, we could make a green axe, but you know, I don't use, I only use the axe on occasion. So I don't think I'm too concerned about that for now. And we already have a steel shovel that we'll be using for quite some time. All right, good. So let's see here. We want to, I, I'm probably going to actually have to go. Well, no. Okay. We got some iron and steel in there in that inventory from all the stuff. Oh. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did have a Bose expertise book drop, 
Um, I think from a bandit maybe. And I might hang on to this one just because it's a possibility, not at all for sure, but it's a possibility that we might do Hunter as a second class later on down the road. And by the way, I should be taking all of this out of here and exchanging it for 762 out of uh, Pincushion's inventory here. So do we have enough to make... Okay, it doesn't look like we have everything we need to make the scythe, um, titanium scythe. All oh, right, we need screws. Um, you don't have any screws or do you? Oh yeah, he's got screws. Okay. All right, so let's make that. And then for the ratchet, uh, track that. We're going to need two springs and five mechanicals, which I probably just finished selling, because, but I have more of that stuff back at the base. I got another small engine too at some point. I, I did take apart um, uh, one of the little moped things, so that's probably where I got it, but I don't remember exactly. Let's run over to the shredder here. And, um, oh, here. Give me this and this. And we have some sand here. Let's maybe take half of the small stone. And we'll make cobblestone. Uh, we're doing really good right now for materials for the horde base. Um, especially now that we can make steel. And I went out to the desert, as I believe I will show you, and uh, mined up a whole bunch of oil shale. Uh, four, over 4,000 to be precise. But we're probably going to use most, if not all, of that just to make cement for now, since I still don't have a Kim bench. What I might do, actually, is I might cut that in half and save half and just use half, just use half of it for the um, the cement and then see if we can, you know, come across a chemistry bench for making gas. Because once we get the chem bench, you know, then then we're not in too bad a shape. And I there's several um, oil shales out here in the desert. And the one that I was mining, which was this one, has a lot in it. So a lot of different experience than I've had in my purge and my purge you know I, I found one oil shale deposit out in the desert and it was really lame <laughs> um so yeah I'm happy to see that that's not really a mod thing it's just a bad RNG thing on that particular playthrough for my purge okay we've got a, a fourth slot here now too that's great how much is this worth and eh, not a whole lot we'll, we'll just save it then as a backup Okay, so for to make the, for to make, what? What the fuck am I talking about? Um, to make the ratchet, <laughs> we're going to need to go back to the base real quick and grab um, some springs and mechanical parts. Let's do an ammo trade with you. And he's got a quest for us. This is probably the one about the cybernetics. Oh, no, it's the zombie putty. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. And, you know, we'll do it as we do it, as we go along. So... Doesn't look like there's really a whole lot more here I can do, but I can should be able to yeah, do some more conversions here now. For the high power stuff. Uh, based upon uh, those bullets that we had. And okay, so I think we're good at the moment. Let's run back to the base and get the parts we need for the orange ratchet. And then our main goal for this episode is to is to get that house cleared and start moving in. Because I'm kind of tired of living on a rooftop. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, getting old. Okay, let's make sure we keep you topped off. I, I estimated that it takes about 3,000 gasoline to fill the tank up on this. That's how damned expensive it is. And 3,000 gas is a lot of gas when the only way you can get it is by wrenching. Okay, we have another almost 500 concrete there, so that's a beautiful thing. We can add that to here. Then we have 733. And let's um, let's pull just about. I almost called you smiles. That would have been a terrible, a terrible breach of contract. <laughs> okay, we'll put all that stuff away. And so yeah, for this oil shale, why don't we do this? Why don't we make? This is a non-broadcasting box, and we're going to put half of that in there. 
And then the rest of this, we're going to just keep making concrete because we're going to still need quite a bit of it for, um, you know, for fixing up the horde base. And then we'll put the rest of this in here. Uh, the small engine, I guess we'll just put that in there for now. This I shouldn't have brought over here with me. That needs to go back to the base. We got a mini by candle bars. We'll sit on that book for now. That needs to also go. I, I'm, it's such a pain in the ass having all the tools over at the, the trader. So I really want to get, that's one of several reasons why I want to get our own home going here. Uh, okay, so let's make a first aid bandage with that there. And then we have a little bit of food. Probably have no room for this stuff. Well, I got a little bit of room. So we'll throw this and that and that in there. Just picked a bunch of yucca whilst we were out in the desert. Oh, that stuff is full. You know, I, I just got stuff all over the place right now, you know? And uh, we will get organized once we get into our new house. I want to put my scythe in there. This is no longer needed now since we have this as a backup, so I think we'll just sell that. What does this need for repairs? Just duct tape? Ah, yeah, okay. So we'll that's probably worth spending the duct tape on because now it's worth that one. Shit, <laughs> it was not worth spending the duct tape on. What the hell, man? Ah, okay. Uh, and I found a red tea and some loot and some crossbow bolts. A crossbow is an item that I have not come across in either one of my playthroughs yet in Rebirth. Is it something that... Yeah, it's it's locked. Oh, it's a hunter thing. Ah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, so we won't uh, be doing anything with that anytime soon. But we will hang on to the bolts just in case, like I said, we do decide at some point to switch over to uh, the hunter. Or not switch over to it, but add it to, you know, Witch Doctor stuff. Okay, now, um, let's go back to um, Ratchet Track. So we need springs, steel, and mechanicals. Okay, there's eight steel there. Uh, we need five mechanicals. And we need two springs. Okay, that'll be enough to make the new ratchet. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think that an orange one's going to have... It's still only going to have the two mod slots, so that's what we'll we'll keep in there. This would take a repair kit to fix up, but it's probably we'd probably get some money for it. Um, well, I don't know. May, I think I'm just going to hang on to it for the for the moment. Okay, so for this, is it worth it to put ten percent chance to cause a bleed one on a rate? I don't know if it's worth it to put a serrated blade on a bladed weapon that's already doing bleeding. So, yeah, I'm not really sure about that. Let me know in the comments, guys. Is it worth it to put a serrated blade mod on, in my case, the scythe or on a knife or on a machete? And if your answer is yes, explain to me why that is. If you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate it. That'd be great. You guys are awesome. Uh, okay. What else could we put on our scythe? Oh. I got one there too. We'll we'll sell that one. I'm not gonna bother burn a repair kit to fix that one up though. Um, do I already have a structural brace on this one? I don't. Can I put it on there? Okay, so this will make the scythe uh degrade slower, but this is the one that gives me health if I'm below 50%. Uh I think I would prefer to have that one. All right, so that one's not going to work. Um, I don't think it'll let me put any of those mods on. I got, like I said, I've got stuff all over the place. That's usually just for clubs. Uh, we already have the flaming shaft. Okay, so I, I don't actually have another mod for this right now. Um, for 
Right. And these are for the ratchet. Really important to have the structural brace on the ratchet just so it lasts longer because otherwise, you know, it's going to wear down quick. Okay, so we have everything we need here to make our orange ratchet. Let's go do that. And then we are going to go clear that house and take over it. It's been a long time coming. We've been on the roof for just far too long now. And it's time to make some changes in our life. All right, so that'll take a couple of minutes. In the meanwhile, uh, let's make some more bullet tips. Oh, you know what? I need the oil shale over here to make the cement, not the concrete. And I need limestone fragments over here too. Okay, let me go grab those really quick. I'm just gonna, actually gonna bike back over there to save gas. I'm very conscien conscious, conscious right now about gas because God, that took a long time <laughs> to wrench all those cars to get that gas. I mean, it was it was well worth doing because of all the money and everything else we got too, right? But still, Whew. I'm a little bit burnt out right now on resource gathering. That's why I want to go do some fun stuff. Not that resource gathering isn't fun. It's fun in its own way, but, you know, it can only take so much, right? All right, we emptied you, right? Okay, so we need to take the limestone fragments and the oil shale back over to the trader. And... I guess, is that the only reason I came back here? God, my brain's not working right now. I think it is. Okay. Well, hopefully it is. All right. Let's make um, cement. Oh, God. That's not a whole lot. Sand is a pain in the ass, man. I mean, to get in quantity. I need to just go out to the desert and do nothing but dig sand for, like, a whole day. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Oh, God. Okay. This... Yeah, that still has the two mod slots. Okay, so we got a nice upgrade there for our ratchet. Uh, we're going to sell these two things. And that we can take back to the base. And we can't convert these at the moment because we have no more... Oh, wait. Nope, we do have bullets there. Okay. So let's convert those 7.62s as well. And then let's actually make even more uh, 7.62s. At some point, I want to start making some AP for bosses. How many of those can we make? Um, yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we turn all these into APs, but I'm only going to use them to kill bosses. I'm not going to use them on any other type of zone. Because boss heads cannot be popped. And so, uh, aside from, you know, the fact that you are doing a little more damage with the HP... It's, um, I, I think it's better to use the armor piercing for bosses. Okay, are we good to go? Uh, I'll, I'll just let that do its thing for now. You know what, I'm going to wait for this to finish so I can bring it back to the base and make, hopefully, you know, make some more concrete mix and then we'll head out. All right, guys, we are at the location here. And uh, we have one more land mine there that needs to be ignited. And this is our new house. And we even have coal deposits in the driveway. <laughs> I think those are meant to be oil spills, but, you know, we can, um, we can mine those up and then, you know, just make some asphalt later to, to fix it. So I started to actually uh, try and clear this place. Can I? No. Um, several episodes ago, but we got, well, that's cool. We got sidetracked. Um, is this 5,000 or? Yeah, it is 5,000. Okay, so it's concrete. It's just painted to look like brick. Uh, we got sidetracked, and I never never made it back here. So uh, there is um, a, a bad dude um, inside of here. Well, let me see if he's still in here. Yeah, he's right there. So I think, yeah, it looks like that goes around. I think we're supposed to actually go this direction. 
Um, but we don't necessarily have to. What we could do is, uh, no, never mind. We can't do that. I was going to say we could throw a Molotov or a grenade down there, but I don't want to burn down the house that I'm planning on moving into. So let's not worry about him for the moment. And let's just move in. Now, this is a tier three, but we should be able to handle a tier three without any major issues at this point. Uh, one thing I want to test is that um, I had mentioned, I think in the purge episode that when I pick up a dryer and try and put it back down, it goes down as a washer. But I wonder if it's because I was picking up washers first. And when I picked up the dryer, it converted into a washer. So let's pick up the dryer by itself. All right. And then try and put it back down now. See, no, it's going to, uh, no, actually, no, that is a dryer. Okay. So what I think was probably happening was that I was picking it up and I already had washers and it was going into the washing machine. Oh, oh, look though. Now it's a washing machine. What the fuck? Why did that happen? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now they're washing machines again. Okay. Well, the first time I picked it up and put it back down, it went back down as a dryer, as you guys saw there, but now it didn't. So I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Anyway, whatever. Let's, uh, oh, look at this place. Let's go ahead and move up into here and see. We got like a, a little tower here. That's, uh, that's interesting. I mean, I don't usually do horde bases, uh, at, you know, where I live. I have done that before, but having uh, this tower here with, you know, concrete level blocks could potentially be something we could use. Maybe not for like a horde night horde base, but like a wandering horde horde base. Wow, look at our new house. This is nice. All right, I'm going to take one of these because I can I can turn ferals with my scythe. And She's feral. Okay, guys, I can't move. Let me out, please. All right, we're turning you back so we can kill you. And let's... Remember not to right-click when I have my potions. Turn you back. Okay, we'll let Arlene keep pounding on them. Because, you know, we're doing double damage right now. Are you feral? Yeah. Okay, be my friend. Off with her head. Wow, look at this place. This is cool, man. Yep. Let's get Big Mama. Uh, Mr. Burner. And Mr. Soldier. All right, we're going to need to refresh our feral helper. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. No, no, and no for you either. No buffing, no buffing allowed. He's uh, okay. All 
All right, Arlene, let's refresh you. What's, who's he going after? Man, look at my bathroom. This is awesome. I love this place already. It's our new home, ladies and gentlemen. A home fit for a warlock. No, wait, I'm not a fucking warlock. What am I? A witch doctor. Yeah, same thing. Not really, but you know. <laughs> Depends on how one defines such things. Okay, Arlene, what are you doing? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, he did. Alright, let's take Arlene out. Okay, let's turn you back so I can take your head off. Oh, hey, look, Doc. Doc's dead. I like my new house. This place is fucking awesome, man. Look at this. Hell yeah. Okay. Um. Is that it? I think it is. Look at that safe right there. We have a walk-in closet. I mean, what more could you want in the apocalypse other than a walk-in closet? That's just awesome. All right, let's go, before we, you know, loot and clean the place up, let's go, what does that do? Uh, I don't know what that opened up. Oh, up here. Okay. Okay, there's this arm over that way. Oh, yeah, we're not done yet. All right, here. <coughs> okay, kill him. Hey, knock that off, Granny. <laughs> we have our own sunbathing lounge chairs up here. Also unessential for the apocalypse, I'm just saying. Do those solar banks work? Okay, let's turn him back. Good. Hey, cut that out, crawler. Pincushion, what the fuck are you doing, man? You're just like following him around like a kindergartner, not doing any damn thing to take him out. Come on, I pay you the big bucks, man. You need to you need to step it up here. Oh, did he rebirth? Okay. Poke him in the ass with your spear. There you go. <laughs> um Okay, so I think we've cleared our new home. I guess what we'll do now is we'll start from the top and work our way down and clean the place up. So let's do that. We'll do all the looting and get the stuff. We do have the booger underneath the entryway. We gotta, uh, we're gonna have to take him out too, but we will do that. Let's pick this up. It's gonna be a little while yet before we're ready to make steel storage containers like I did in my purge playthrough. Is that? Oh, okay, so we can clean we can clean those up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Probably here too, right? Uh there, okay. We have some air cons that we could wrench for brass, but we might want to keep those in place so that we can keep our house cool, you know, when we get hot and stuff. Okay, can we clean this up? Nice. 
That way we don't leave leave the stains around. Propane tank? Nope. I'm going to leave that there, so that way... Uh, is this a thing? Yeah. Uh, okay, if I pick this up and reset it, then can I put stuff inside of it? Should be able to, right? Oh, it doesn't fit in there now. Okay, whatever. Get all of the... Yuckety yuck. Uh, what's that supposed to be? Pee? <laughs> That's gross, man. What the fuck is there a bathroom doing right here? Oh, that's funny. All right. Can we... Uh, can we pick this up? Okay, we can pick that up. Um... I don't know how to pick the P up, so I guess the P stays there. Okay, let's clean that up. That we'll have to fix. We got a purse here. All of this stuff here. How long does it take for me to harvest? Oh, I can do that in one power hit. Okay. Oh, nice. We found a... We found another distilled water. And a new cassette tape. The Shifting Tide. There it is. Okay, let's go back up there to finish what we started. Oh. Uh, how did we get up there? Oh, through the... Right, through here. We have to do this systematically, man. Clean the place up. Okay, pick this up. We'll leave the camping chairs there. Okay, aside from the damage to blocks, I think we have everything nice and clean up here now. Um, let's get rid of... Uh, why am I not seeing a seeing hit points on this? Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll fix that later. Let's come up here. Turn that down just a little bit more. Okay, so it looks like our uh, Sunbathing area is all nice and clean except for the pile of piss that I can't seem to get rid of for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so now let's go back down here. And let's start picking things up and cleaning up in here. This we'll pick up and put back down as a working refrigerator that we can store stuff in. Likewise, we'll do the same thing with the microwave. And look at that. Nice. Uh, we don't think we can put those on light armor. Pretty sure we can't. I mean, we can try it, but I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, see, it's grayed out because we're already wearing light armor. That would be for medium or heavy. Okay, we'll take that out. Um... The, uh, oh, shit, that's a fucking um, landmine. That it doesn't belong. Yes, it does. This is my house, damn it. Um, Holy shit, if that blows up, is it going to put the house on fire? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're not going to mess with that right now. I'm going to go back to the trader and buy a fire extinguisher before we ignite this, because I can't pick it up. What if I just bust it out... I just broke the thing it would would it fall or would it still stick to the window yeah I still think I want to have a fire extinguisher in my hand before we do that let's leave that in the dishwasher so it doesn't because I can't yeah I can't pick that up anyways so you know it doesn't look like an opened one I suppose I could 
If I had to, we could spawn one in. Uh, you know, from the creative menu. That's our little, um... You know, biometric thingy. Uh-oh. I'm not going to be able to get that stuff off the floor either. That's a bummer. I mean, I could replace the, the block, uh, or I might be able to fix it, you know, with paint. Okay, all of these chairs have to go. We might put a couple back down nice and neatly, but right now they're just kind of chaotically scattered all over the place. Yeah, uh, uh, I can. I might be able to repaint that. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I can't pick this chair up. Okay. We'll put a couple chairs, one at each end of the table, and maybe one there, there, and there. And then we can walk through this way. And that's when me and Pen Cushion and eventually um, Doom and all my other buddies can sit down and have dinner at night after a hard day's uh, zombie killing. That is cool looking. We're going to leave that there. Even though I know I could probably wrench it for maybe brass. I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, we're going to loot the book bookshelves Ooh, nice okay we'll take that oh wow look at that my living room floor is oil shale all right well if we get low on gas we can just come and mine our living room because that's what you do you know when you get low on gas oh shit i lost the duffel bag god damn it all right whatever it's a bummer man We'll leave the pool table so me and Pincushion can play pool. Did we just wake up the booger downstairs? What the hell's going on? Alright, you know what? Um, fuck this guy. Oh. Where'd she come from? I was not expecting this. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, I just thought there was going to be one booger down there, and I was wrong. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, all right, <clears throat> let's do a um, spawn near the backpack. Ouch. Holy shit, man. All right, what we're going to do is, um, what is this thing called? Ba yeah, teleport to backpack. And then let's use this because it will... Get us our stuff back immediately. Okay, so, um... Alright, what... What the fuck, man? Oh, you know what? I'm not... I'm not gonna let myself get trapped down there again. So what we're gonna do is... I can replace this later. We can't have these fucking zombie termites in our house, man. We got to get them out from underneath our house. All right. I just realized I have um, an infection, and it's getting close to 5%. So let's run back to the rooftop base, and I think I have a honey. I have two big antibiotics, but of course I don't want to use those um, unless we... 
need to. That was fucking embarrassing, man. I'll tell you what. I was not expecting that to happen. I thought there was just going to be one booger down there. And I thought wrong, obviously. What are we doing? We're looking for honey. Uh, over here? Hmm. Here we go. And we also have an abrasion and a sprain. Okay, that should take care of our our sprain. Do I have the ability to make a normal bandage? I do. Okay, good. So I'd, I'd rather not burn a big bandage if we don't have to. And that'll take care of our abrasion. Let's take our chance with these three boiled waters. And if we do happen to get dysentery uh, i've got some distilled waters which will reduce the the time on the debuff okay we look no we got it god damn it okay so right now we have um 14.6 percent if we drink one of these it's uh it's treated dysentery right okay what does that mean exactly? So we're just going to periodically lose some water and food. Does it also slow us down? No, nah, I don't think so. It doesn't seem like it is. So we don't need to put a diaper on. Because, you know, I'd kind of rather not do that. It's kind of fucking embarrassing putting a diaper on. Okay, let's go back and finish the job here. I may eventually upgrade these supports to steel as well. Oh, shit. Scared the hell out of me. Love that bleed. All right, what the hell is that going to do? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Um, I don't really see the point, though. For our own purposes. So I'll probably just fill all that in. Oh, did I just hear a wolf? Okay. Um, I don't think I want these around because I'll inevitably get messed up in them myself. Caught up in them. I think that does it. Um, this place is no longer condemned. We'll have to put a, uh, a, well, yeah, what I'm going to actually do is take that door out completely and put my own door in so that I can lock it. So that way boss zombies don't unlock the door. Having some problems with that in the purge. And I couldn't figure out why. And then I realized with help, you know, with somebody in the comments that the reason it was happening is because... I didn't actually build the original door. I just upgraded, you know, what was there. So it wasn't allowing me to lock it. A couple more things to clean up here. I think we'll leave that, those plants there because they look kind of nice. Excellent. All right. Welcome to our new home, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. <laughs> I just shit in my new living room. Why those? Why do these things happen to me? Okay, come on. There we go. 
Yeah, it looks like that was the end of it, though. So, never mind the brown stains over here. Just ignore those. They don't mean anything. We got these little colored thingies going on here. It's kind of got a little bit of a 1960s era vibe, but that's okay. The 60s were good to me. <laughs> well, actually, I was born in the late 60s. So... I don't know. I don't know that they were good to me per se. Oh shit. I could have probably looted that, huh? Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Look at our bathroom, man. It's a kick-ass bathroom. There's a there's our uh our diaper. We have a shower. Oh. Hey, what the fuck, man? Where did you come from? Why do these things happen to me? Where did these guys come from? Did they... Did they come in off the street or what the hell? I don't know. Okay, we've got, uh, apparently we have another secret passage back here, or something. And did we ever actually find any tier 3 end loot? I don't think we did, did we? It would be the, you know, the locked metal box. Oh, there it is right there, okay. I couldn't see it. Let's unlock it. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's where they came from. Interesting. All right, you know what? We don't need um, two toilets. And I guess we're picking that up too. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Let's open this safe. Nice. Okay, can I pick this up and reset it? And then you actually use it as a safe. Huzzah, look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, now we also have... Oh yeah, we have stuff up here too. Right, okay. This is my desk, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's leave that in there. Um, I'm going to leave the brass lamp there because this is my bedroom. And we need some light. Oh, look at that. Right off the bat. It doesn't get any easier than that, man. There's a Tier 3 Expertise book bundle. Now, let's pick this up and reset it. There we go. Okay, we'll loot that stuff, we'll loot our purse. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the chairs in place because they look nice. Get this blood stain off the floor. Get the weapons bag. Uh, what did we just get? Oh, nice, okay. How did we, oh, God damn it, we're infected again. <laughs> uh, let's leave the wine bottles down there. Nice. I love this place, guys. This is really cool. Um, there's another wall safe. Our infection is at 1%. Okay, let's uh, let's open this. This is a very cool POI. It's mid-century modern home 04 by MP Luge. Lu yeah, Luge, maybe? Okay, well done, MP Luge. Okay, we'll learn that. And we'll pick that up. We don't need to put that one back. What we need to do first is we need to secure 
this place. Now, I could actually leave these here, at least for now, and they could be like drop chests. But um, we're going to have to cut out all these stairs so the zombies, you know, obviously can't get up here. Or, or we could take that out and make it a a steel vault door and cut all of this out hmm. a couple different ways we could do it what is this yeah that's only 2,000 hit points but this is all 5,000 here what's this oh god that's 10,000 Oh shit, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> Man. Ah. Uh, all right. So I think what we should do is uh whoops, sorry. Let's cut this out. Okay, so this is three blocks high. Let's cut this out too. And what I can do here is, let's grab um, like maybe four of those. And we'll do a copy shape and rotation. Oh, mm, no. Well, we could do, we could do it there. Not really, though. Okay, no. Uh, let's just make this a normal plate. No, not a centered plate. Just a plate plate. Pull plate. No. Plate. Where's the normal plate? Here. Okay. Do I have any concrete mix? Uh, well, no, I got all that. Back. Okay, so I'll have to upgrade those later. I'm going to leave this open until I can get back in here and just fill this in because the only thing I can think of is we could have like an underground escape area, you know, going through here. But even if I do that, I'm still going to, you know, maybe cut a hole through here and go down that way and then fill the rest of it in just because, you know, It'll, it'll make the, the base of our base stronger, essentially. But I'll eventually, you know, fill that in too. But here's what I'm thinking we do is we just have like a, almost like a drawbridge-like situation here. So let's put this back here. And let's see if we make it... Um, I think I want to make it three high and let's take these blocks here and hopefully this is a corner block, right? You know, it just occurred to me that I don't, I don't want to, um, copy shape yeah I don't want a corner piece here that's what I want right there but I want a corner piece here it's still upside down what if I do on face there that's better but this is oh god damn it 10,000 hit points really all right, eh. I don't want to break a 10,000 hit point rail. I want to keep a 10,000 hit point rail. So the only way that's going to work then is if we... Uh, okay, so let's take this and copy the shape. And... I guess we'll put that there. Uh, 
And then what we can do is we can Is this a horde or just a couple of one? Uh, yeah, that's a horde. Okay, let's. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I don't want these guys fucking up our house. So let's pull them away. Okay, we are back. And hopefully we lost everybody. Uh, all right, back to this. So uh, what we're going to do here is uh, take this block. Oh, come on. Seriously? Uh, and we're going to put it. I guess we have to turn it this way. A little jank, but, you know, whatever. Is it just you? <laughs> she slapped him. Okay. <clears throat> and then what we will do, and of course I'll get this all upgraded too. Um, what we could actually do is just put a couple ladders here. Uh, scaffolding ladders is fine. And then we could just do this to get in. Yeah, that works. That's easy. That's lemon squeezy. Okay. I still think, though, that I want to take this door out and put our own door in, upgrade it to a steel vault door so we can lock it. Just in case. So we will do that. And then maybe what we'll do is... Uh, then we just kill you. Fatigued. All right, well, let's take the vitamin. I think that was just a couple stragglers coming in, not the horde. It's getting close to morning. I don't know, these could be... Like the tail end of the horde coming back to us. Not sure. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Um, I'm going to start the process of moving over here. That process will involve getting all this upgraded, getting a steel vault door in place there, filling everything in here with maybe the exception of one central chute that goes down to bedrock that can be like an, es an underground escape and or mine for us. Um, figure out storage. You know, I, I can't afford... Oh, man, I could afford maybe to do steel storage right off the bat like I did in the purge, but I don't think I will because... I want to save the steel for the horde base for now. So we may end up just using, you know, pickup storage like the cardboard boxes and all that stuff for for a temporary setup uh, until we can, you know, make our own steel storage. Um, eventually, I would like to upgrade, you know, the, the base here and these bases to steel. At least, you know, maybe the first two or three blocks of it. Just as, you know, extra protection because things... You know, could get pretty nasty with the hordes that come in. And, you know, later on, as we advance and so forth, we could increase our defenses even more, add electric fences, add turrets, add, you know, spike traps or whatever, and, you know, really defend this place 
and have a lot of fun with it. But this is a very cool POI. I really like it. So I'm excited to, you know, move in and make this our home. All right. So that is it for this episode. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.